A warm welcome to the NEM Auto Show. My name is Pombili Shilongo. I cannot believe that it has been 14 episodes already. Welcome to our season finale. Today we're doing things a little bit different and of course going down memory lane. But for now, let's have a look at what MNZ Motors have to offer. My name is Petrus. Um, I'm the product expert at Mercedes-Benz. Um, my role is basically to, to engage the sales process between the point from the walk-in to the dealership up until the point of sale with the sales executives. Um, so that's, that's basically my job description in terms of how I assist the client in what vehicle they would want to acquire in terms of um, specifications. Our history as MNZ started uh, in as early as 1906. In 2006, we celebrated our sanitary year for 100 years. Um, interestingly enough, in 1936, we acquired the exclusive franchise for importing Mercedes-Benz vehicle directly from uh, Germany. Um, as now it's slightly changed, so our vehicles comes directly from, from South Africa. Um, so that's who we are as a company um, in short. Mercedes-Benz is mainly seen as a, as a premium brand. And in terms of premium quality, we're one of the best out there. So our main focus, first up, when you come in and buying a Mercedes-Benz, is we mainly focus on safety first. Comfort is of utmost priority second. And then thirdly, we look at a performance, where I don't want to compare ourselves to other brands, they're just as good. Um, but we pride ourselves in those three, three benchmarks we set for ourselves um, as a Mercedes-Benz brand. Um, and in terms of the, the quality and service we provide with the brand as well, um, just in short, we, we have dealerships in Vintuk, we have one in Swakopmund, and then we have a service department in Ondangwa as well. Currently in, in our Mercedes-Benz lineup, we have a selection of 25 different models you can choose from, ranging across in different engine variants as well. So we start basically from the A-Class, it runs right through up until the S-Class, and in between you get the 23 different other models we have as well. So our, our most popular vehicles um, by, in terms of sale is our C-Class, C-Class sedan specifically, and then the GLC SUV as well. Um, and in terms of a bigger range vehicle, our GLEs are very popular as well. Funny enough, um, as opposed to say South Africa, um, we have a much more 4x4 oriented customer group than a sedan oriented customer, um, which, which is kindly applicable for, for Namibia as a country because we have a lot of gravel roads and so, but we put out a lot of SUVs as opposed to our sedan vehicles. Yep. So there's, there's a whole range of different vehicles a customer can have a look at and basically for, for every need. So interesting fact on, on our Mercedes-Benz vehicles, our AMGs, which is a very popular vehicle in our country as well, is the top of the range vehicle of uh, your certain series models. So if you have a look at our 25 different vehicles we have in our lineup. Your AMG vehicle would be the pinnacle of that lineup, in, in short, in every section of vehicle we have, from A class up until the S class. All right. So, a bit of history on, on the AMG vehicles. A lot of people don't know what AMG actually stands for. So, AMG, those three letters, stands for Alfrecht, Melche, Gross Aspach. So, Hans Werner Alfrecht and Erhard Melcher were the German engineers using Mercedes-Benz vehicles, making them performance-oriented. Right, and as late as 2005, 
Mercedes-Benz and the Daimler Group, which owns Mercedes-Benz, bought the AMG company in, in short. So AMG is a performance oriented uh, vehicle, which is part of the Mercedes-Benz lineup, which basically forms our pinnacle of our vehicles. In Namibia, interesting fact is though that um, we have the most amount of AMGs per capita, so per amount of people we have in our country than anywhere else in the world. So it shows you that our performance brand is highly, highly popular and um, in terms of for our customers. Okay, I would just like to invite our viewers viewing this uh, video right now. Please and come and make a turn at our dealership. Um, you're more than welcome to a free cup of coffee. Um, and please have a talk to our sales staff. We have test drives available, so please come around and make a turn. You're more than welcome. And we certain, we're here to answer any questions you might have. If there's anything you'd like to know about a certain vehicle of us, finance options we have available as well. And we can even have a chat about our service plans or maintenance plans as options on a vehicle if you're interested. So please come and make a turn. We'll be more than happy to assist you um, and invite you to the Mercedes-Benz family. With that said, Mercedes-Benz was the company who invented the first automobile as well. Um, that's why we call ourselves the best or nothing. Reason being, we are the forerunners in the vehicle industry. enjoyed that while we're still at MNZ I must say that the C63 S AMG Coupe really demands attention and power depending on the driver now this car is a must check out have a look Hi guys, my name is Petrus. Welcome at MZ Motors, Mercedes-Benz. We're here today looking specifically at the AMG C63 S Coupe. And what distinguishes our AMG vehicles from our certain model lineup is especially it's our high performance end of our lineup. And you'll specifically see the wider air intakes in the front, so it's got a much more aggressive front grille. We've got our power domes on the hood as well. All right, and then of course, most important, our three-pointed star. All right, with the AMG badge with the single louver on that. And then, which is very specific on our 63 variants, is that our engine is hand-built. It's built on the basis of one man, one engine, which makes it a very spectacular vehicle in that sense, and the way the vehicle is designed in terms of performance, as well as the broader uh, wheel arches on the vehicle as well. And then this specific option we have here has a special matte paint we call, a selenite gray magnum. All right, with that we have the intelligent lighting system and it is basically intelligent as we say. So it's an LED light which emits a, a light on main beam of about 300 meter visibility right in front of you when it's on high beam. All right, and it can automatically dip as soon as it detects oncoming vehicles with a stereo camera situated right behind the rear view mirror. All right, with that said, as you go around a corner, the lights will turn a certain amount of degrees as well to give you better visibility of the corner, corner ahead. All right, and with that, on our AMG vehicles, especially the S model, you get the high performance brakes as well, which can take greater strain on the harsh braking, for instances, and it gives you longer, longer lifespan on the braking its, itself. And with that, on all our vehicles as a series lineup, you get a minimum maintenance plan of six years, 100,000 kilometers. So whichever comes first, either the six years or the 100,000 kilometers, your vehicle is covered in that sense. So if brakes need to be re replaced, for example, yeah, that's covered by the maintenance plan as well. All right, what distinguishes our AMG vehicles on the interior is of course our dials, where our dials or the speedometer moves up to right to 320 kilometers an hour. On this vehicle specifically, by law of course, um, all vehicles are limited to 250 kilometers an hour. But with this vehicle, as with the package, it was specced with the AMG driver's package, 
which moves the speed limit up until about 280 kilometers per hour. Then of course you have your beautiful AMG performance steering wheel with your shift paddles on the left and right hand side. What's nice about the AMG vehicles as well is that you have a mode we call manual mode which you can engage which is solely for the driver which states them that they're solely in control for gear changes so the vehicle won't interfere in any sense. With that said, with our AMG vehicles, you, on the C63s, you get the Burmester sound system as well, which um, is defined by art for the ear. So it's a pretty, pretty um, high-grade sound system. You get, get about 13 loudspeakers, which puts out about 590 watts as well. Then regarding your center console, you have a, a clock, analog clock as well from the International Watch Company and you can differentiate your center console as well. So if you want the carbon fiber trim, that will be optional as well. This one specifically has the black open pore ashwood trim as we see it. All right, and then on my center console where all the buttons and controls are, you have either the touchpad or the command controller, which you can use to communicate with your multimeter interface. What makes the interface, the multimeter interface so engageable is that it's voice activated as well. So without taking your hands away from the steering wheel, you can just press what we call the linguatronic button and you can say a command and the multimedia will engage it as you have said. On the center console regarding the different buttons all around, we have a fun button we call it, it's the AMG performance exhaust. So once you activate that button, it just elaborates the V8 sound and gives you that um, emotional V8 sound of this four liter bi-turbo engine as is. All right, especially when you get onto the throttle above two and a half thousand revs, you, hear, you really hear that engine pumping, pumping up, running through all eight cylinders. Special on our S models is that you get an additional race mode as well. Now, race mode is mainly for track use, so it disables your ESP, known as Electronic Stability Program, and it takes 75% of the vehicle's interference, safety systems-wise, it takes away, so it leaves the driver with 25%. Regarding the interior, further from the driving, you get different options on your seat interiors as well, so you get different colors you can have a have a look from as well. And then of course you get the AMG performance seats as well, otherwise known as bucket seats in that sense, which gives you better lateral stability when cornering. And just take into account that the drive is a bit firmer as well, as soon as you select the AMG performance seats. But that's solely for the, for the tracked, track focus customer in, in that sense. All right, and then with that said as well, of course, your seats has a memory function as well, all right, which just means the seat configuration is completely electrical and you can store it on three different settings. All right, so it keeps that preferred setting you've set a certain way and you can set it at three different levels and it takes into account not even your seating position, but the way you've adjusted your steering and the way you've adjusted your side view mirrors as well. And apart from that, the interior options, there's a whole host of other fine trim options you can choose from as well. Um, in, in that sense, you have different driver aid systems known what we call the driving assistance package as well, which can also be opted on our vehicles. This one specifically is not opted with it. And um, exterior wise, as we've just been through, you can opt for the carbon ceramic brakes as well as an optional to the vehicle as is currently. Well, over the 14 episodes, we've traveled all the way from Ochoarongo back to Vento just to meet various dealer principals and, of course, sales managers. Well, let's take you guys through memory lane of who made the show.
episodes, we have brought you a different range of cars from the showroom of Pukovic from Bums to AMH Hyundai. Not only have these dealers previewed to their exquisite showrooms and locations, but they have also displayed a large variety of vehicles offered to everyone depending on your needs. Where most people struggle to find a car to do specific functions, we made sure that the dealers in the NAM Auto Show helped by giving relevant information about the cars as well as contact persons to make the job easier for you, the viewer. <laughs> market in Namibia is at a high scale and people know about cars but not many know about where to find them or in terms of after sale service. That's why we ensure to reveal all the information about each dealer so that the process from financing, buying to servicing a car can be made more convenient for the viewers. Our mission is not only to entertain you with what we show you but to educate intensively on the ins and outs about the car industry in Namibia. is situated in the heart of Vintuk and offers fun-filled entertainment for the family. Open to the public every Tuesday to Friday from 2 in the afternoon to 10 in the evening. Saturdays from 10 in the morning to 10 in the evening. The beauty about this show is that the NAM Auto Show made it very, very easy for anybody to buy a car without visiting a showroom. Well, let's wrap up all of the cars that we have visited and checked out throughout the course of this season. Have a look. First up is the VW Amarok V6, a tough competitor which is leading the backing market at the moment in Namibia in terms of the best newcomer. 
Not only does it convince you with its stunning looks, but its performance, comfort and off-road capabilities will impress any car enthusiast. The new Nissan X-Trail is perfectly styled for everyday family adventures. From kids to cargo, you can load up in a flash with an interior that adapts to any situation. Wherever you're going, you can go there safe in the knowledge that Nissan's intelligent mobility technologies are there to help. The Mitsubishi Pajero Sport. Combining style, luxury, cutting-edge technology and genuine four-wheel drive performance. The slick Mitsubishi Pajero Sport fuses elegance, space and safety for urban driving with agility for off-road excitement. Mitsubishi Pajero Sport is a versatile family four-wheel drive build to help you escape the everyday and ignite your spirits for adventure. Developed with the input of the famous stunt driver Ken Block, the Ford Focus RS is a feral beast. And on this Namibian road, the Ford Performance all-wheel drive system intelligently distributes power for maximum benefit, both front and rear as well as left and right. And with four different driving modes, including track and drift, you can dominate the course no matter the mood you're in. This car perfectly translates the connection between car and driver. The Haval H6C, short for coupe, again seems to raise the bar for vehicles originating from China. It is powered by a 2-liter turbo petrol that develops 140 kilowatts and 310 newton meters of torque. The flagship luxury has a panoramic sunroof and xenon headlights as standard. The infotainment system in all ranges offer full Bluetooth, AUX and USB functionality with the top specification luxury model offering a higher grade system. The Renault Duster is the embodiment of a bold, sporty and masculine character. Its masculine design, chrome plate radiator grille and new styled headlamp unit has a very reassuring appearance. Its satin chrome roof rails also add to the sporty character of the vehicle and the stylish black 5-spoke Changi Elways urge you to take the Renault Duster off-road. section we gave you a virtual tour of the trading, buying and financing process of the Pupkovic Toyota dealership, making it easier for those that wish to trade in their vehicles for one of the elegant, classy showroom vehicles. Pupkovic Toyota, with its helpful and kind staff, always make this process joyful and convenient for the client. Jaguar E-Pace brings the British brand's trademark style to the ever-expanding segment of small luxury crossovers. A turbo 2-liter inline 4 makes 246 horsepower and has all-wheel drive and a 9-speed automatic transmission. Our dynamic models are tuned to 296 horsepower and feature a more advanced all-wheel drive system and aesthetic upgrades. A 10-inch touchscreen is standard, a head-up display, 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot and navigation are optional. The 2017 Honda Civic isn't just a good car, it's a great car and one that makes few compromises. The Civic returns some of the best fuel economy estimates in its class and provides nibble yet comfortable handling. It offers a superb array of standard and high-tech features at a reasonable price. Even in lower trim levels, you can find a large touchscreen and add options like adaptive cruise control or forward collision warning. Not only is this car a serious workhorse with its tough and reliable engine, but the latest version of the Isuzu KB is much better looking than its predecessors. Lines tend to flow into one another long, it's more appealing and more curvaceous than its previous blocky design. The 
12th generation Kia Rio is undoubtedly excellent value for money. It is a far more accomplished city car than its predecessors and, from the outside, the new Rio looks the part. It wears the latest iteration of Kia's Tiger Nose grille, now wider and flatter across the face, portraying a more mature style that should have a wider appeal. Meanwhile, the rear is very similar in design to the larger Cerato. It's also interesting to note just how little overhang there is over the back wheels, thanks to a nearly vertical rear windscreen. Pupkovic Auto is not only a convenient dealership in Vintuk that offers a large variety of various vehicles offered, but its salesmen portray a very helpful approach to help you with all the specifications you may be looking for when sourcing the perfect vehicle. thirsty for inexpensive speed, the Elantra Sport might meet your demand. A gutsy turbocharged 1.6-litre inline 4 pushes 201 horsepower to the front wheel via 6-speed manual transmission or optional 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. The sporty design cues along with upgraded suspension and brakes further separate the Sport from its lesser sibling. A premium package includes an 8-inch touchscreen, navigation, 8-speaker sound system and a sunroof, but its cost displays real value for money. Powering the GWM Steed 5 is a 2.2-litre four-cylinder petrol engine. It's loosely based on a previous generation Toyota motor, but thanks to modern tech like fuel injection, it offers 78 kilowatts and 190 newton meters of torque. It's rather quiet and surprisingly refined. If you just require a bucky to do some lifting heavy stuff and don't have a lot of money, then you really can't go wrong with the Steed 5. Well, this is our season finale episode and I must say that it's been exciting being part of this show and I must say that we have learned so much in terms of cars, in terms of dealership and of course everything that has to do with beautiful cars, yeah? So from me and the whole entire NEM Auto show, Thank you, love. Well, from me and the whole entire Nam Auto Show, as I was saying, thank you so much for watching. Do make sure you become part of our social media family. We do have a whole lot of goodies to give away on our social media platforms. And if you want to become part of season two, make sure you visit our website. From us, it is goodbye.